What is going on guys? Grave here. I want to make a quick video kind of talking about this next update we're getting for Red Dead Online. How the community is kind of disappointed with it. I know some people out there may be happy with this, but some people I think were very disappointed. Uh, even when they saw what GTA Online was getting with the new, uh, you know, Island Heist cars. I never really expected anything that big for Red Dead Online. I, I've kind of come to, when it comes to Red Dead Online updates, not really expect much. That way I'm not disappointed. Um, and I think a lot of the community that's been around since the beta days of Red Dead Online kind of feel the same. Uh, when it comes to this, the game as a whole, the story is still absolutely phenomenal. The story is one of the top best story games I probably have ever played. I really enjoyed Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2. These stories are absolutely insane. And Rock Star does an incredible job with it. When it comes to online, I think a lot of people feel that Red Dead Redemption's online mode was better than Red Dead 2's online mode. It's just not exactly, I think, what the community wanted. Now, some people may agree or disagree that this new update is good or bad or whatever the case may be. We've seen some leaks about the Outlaw Pass. Just about every comment I've had on my videos personally have been they'll be happy with the Outlaw Pass. Most of the fans, most of the community will be happy with the Outlaw Pass as long as it's not just reskin stuff from previous Outlaw Passes. And I agree. I think that's a uh, you know, pretty fair point. When it comes to just what we're getting in general, I don't know how happy people are going to be with just 10 extra levels, you know, kind of added to the bounty hunter role. And of course this shows you they're going to have to add these 10 levels to ever, every other existing role in the game at some point in time. I would say within the next year, every role probably is going to have 10 extra levels added to it. And is that going to be enough content to keep the community happy? Uh, I know there's a lot of people talking about some of the YouTubers that do YouTube videos daily for Red Dead Online leaving and going to play games like Cyberpunk, which is a disappointment. I, I kind of hate to see anyone that enjoys playing something that is, that, you know, that does YouTube, you know, either for a hobby or for a living or whatever the case may be, leave a game uh, completely. Uh, that that does is just kind of sad to me to see that part of the community kind of go away, no matter what game it is. Now, particularly for me, I don't do Red Dead videos day in and day out. I know some people do. I, do, I prefer not to do any video for any game. Just, that's all I do. I don't prefer, to, I, I don't really like to just pick one game. That's all I upload, period, on the channel. You know, you guys know I do upload other games here on the channel. Now, I may upload some more than others week in and week out. But I try to keep, you know, some different games from variety here on the channel. That's just the way I decided to do my channel personally. Some other people decided to do their channel differently. They decided to pick with one game and stick with it. And, you know. Either way works, whatever you like to do, whatever uh, you know, you're happy with, that's what matters. And I just hate to hear that a lot of the community is deciding to leave the game because they're just getting so fed up with everything. With Red Dead Online, you know, the new challenge, daily challenge situation has also upset a lot of people. And like, like I said, I just kind of hate to hear it. I kind of hate to see it. Now, I never really wanted the game to get to the point of GTA community size-wise. Um, I think it would be a totally different game if you had that big of a community. I think the community as a whole pretty much is really uh, a great community and it's a good community to be around. Now you do get the exception of some trolley lobbies that uh, people just will not leave you alone that are very annoying and yeah, I can understand that. But as a whole, if you think about it, the Red Dead online community has been a really fun community, a really enjoyable community. And I just hate to see so many people getting disappointed with the content that is coming out now. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you excited about this addition, the way they're doing this next update? Um, are you disappointed? I know a lot of people were disappointed when they saw that the next-gen version of the game was pretty much just going to be backwards compatible. I still play here on PS4. I have not been able to find a next-gen version or next-gen console yet, so I've not got to experience the game on next-gen. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you guys happy, unhappy, or just kind of, you know, whatever when it comes to the next update? Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.